Standard of care for IBC is different than non-IBC. Again, I'm always saying because of its uniqueness. Inflammatory is webbing diffused like cotton candy. Often if a young woman presents with an issue in her breast, they can just do a lumpectomy and remove that and not remove the breast. And that's a desirable thing to have happen, you know, not to have a big massive surgery and have basically an amputation of a body part. But IBC being webbing diffused, we have to contain that non-mass. It's almost as if someone's uh, broken a glass. There's little shards up here and there and yawn. You want to kill all that cancer. So they get chemotherapy first. Usually, um, you know, something like FEC or Taxol, you know, more than one depending upon their HER2 status, whether they're HER2 positive or triple negative. And then once they have reason to believe by testing, not just visual looking at the breast, by doing PET scans, they can determine if the patient is ready to go into surgery. Sometimes if a patient is already stage four, which means the cancer has left the breast and has moved to other parts of the body, there's no real reason to remove that breast they feel. Because moving the breast is about what they call local control. You know, I'm a Texas girl. The horse is out of the barn, why well, close the door, right? Kind of that mentality. If you have reason to think though that, that local control can be done, maybe there's only light bone metastasis or very light liver metastasis that they think can respond to treatment, they will remove the breast. So the removal of the breast is definitely unique to the stage of the patient as well as the distant metastasis. Then after that point, radiation is done. The radiation field is as large as a sheet of paper because we want to get all that webby diffuseness because the cancer is actually in the skin itself. That peeled orange, that rash, that's actually cancer. And so you want all of that gone and so you radiate. And the radiation is unique and it's a higher grade than normal and it's every day for six weeks. That is the unique care. One thing I want to really make sure people strongly understand is reconstruction is not anywhere in the picture of the treatment time. Reason being, we want to make the treatment primary. If you start doing reconstruction in the process, like let's say you do a mastectomy and then you want to put in expanders or whatever, you've got a conflict of which is, has the timeline of what you're doing. So with the, the International Consortium wants women to go through all their treatment, be healed from all the treatment, allow their bodies to get their immune system back up, allow that skin to recover from the radiation, and then there are appropriate forms of reconstruction. And so the treatment is quite unique, and we really want women to know that so they can have the best possible outcome. For more information, you can visit our website at theibcnetwork.org you can also download the IBC Network Foundation app.